where merchants flock and all ships dock. Now I understand what that saying was trying to describe. Still, nothing beats seeing it with your own eyes. Welcome to Liyue Harbor. I hope you had a smooth journey. Lady Ningguang instructed me to wait for you here. Hmm? Oh, it's Ningguang's secretary! Bai... Uh... Which Bai is it again? It's Bai Wen. I assist Lady Ningguang with collecting and organizing intelligence. That's right, Bai Wen! Paima remembers now. The other two are Bai Xu and Bai Xiao. Lady Ningguang? You mean Tian Xuan of the Liyue Qixing? Yep, that's her. But why does Ningguang want to see us? Wait, and how does she even know that we'd be arriving in Liyue Harbor today? Lady Ningguang likes to stay informed. Nothing slips through her intelligence network. She wishes to invite our visitor from Fontaine, Mademoiselle Charlotte, to join her at Eugene Terrace to discuss cooperation. Hmm, what would she want with me? This is the first time I've ever been to Liyue Harbor. Lady Ningguang has known of you for quite some time. A talented and capable journalist with the Steambird who writes insightful, engaging, and, most importantly, factual prose. She rather admires your work. She also understands that in revealing the truth to your exclusive news, you have offended some interested parties that have been pulling strings behind the scenes. And that is why you have been sent on an international reporting trip to cover the Genius Invocation TCG events. Wait, what? That's terrible! Oh, poor Charlotte. No, no, it's just part of the job. I'm already used to it. But I'm surprised to learn that Lady Ningguang knows so much about my situation. Does she know my boss or something? <laughs> Paima wouldn't be surprised. She seems to know everyone and everything. Lady Ningguang also welcomes the two of you to join, if you're interested. Oh, you didn't tell me you were best buddies with Lady Ningguang. Oh, Paima wouldn't go that far. We've just been invited to the Jade Chamber as honored guests a couple times. You know. I... But anyway, if Ningwa wants to discuss work stuff with Charlotte, it's probably going to be best if we stay out of the way, right? Maybe we can go ask around about the card snatcher while you have your meeting with Ningguang. Oh, are you sure? All right, thanks. Then I'll leave you to it. Let's catch up and swap notes later. I'm actually pretty excited to meet Lady Ningguang, so I don't want to keep her waiting. Very well. Please, Mademoiselle Charlotte, follow me. See you two later. Sounds like Charlotte's a top-notch journalist, huh? Paimon's not sure what that exclusive news is all about, but it definitely sounds like a big deal. And if she manages to write up an article about this card snatcher case, we'll be featured in her exclusive news too! <gasps> it feels like we're about to become famous! Yep, you're right! Okay, why don't we start asking around at the docks? There's always a lot of people coming and going. Maybe someone's seen people trading cards there. Ah, uh, hello! Uh, Genius in... Really? Uh, don't you... Hi there! We'd like to ask you about something. Hmm? Oh, 
sure, ask away. The ship's already set sail anyway, so I've got all the time in the world. Have you seen anyone around here recently collecting card backs? You know, for that really popular game, Genius Invocation TCG? Collecting card backs? Hmm. I've definitely seen people around here playing the game, but I'm usually preoccupied with thinking about the sea. I've never paid too much attention to it. That's fine. We'll ask someone else. Oh, I really can't afford to wake up late next time. Sure, go ahead. I'll, uh, uh, choo, uh, uh, answer as best I can. Have you noticed anyone here collecting card backs for Genius Invocation TCG recently? Card backs? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. Sorry, just before a girl in Inazuman attire walked by and I've been sneezing non-stop since. Well, take care of yourself and get well soon. We'll keep asking around. I'll be all right. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never <coughs> prevail. Well, this got off to a slow start. Let's try somewhere else. Hey, you two. Looking for someone? Huh? Paimon knows that voice! It's Kazuma! Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Captain Beto needed to return to Liyue to take care of some business, so I've been taking the chance to get to walk around town. It's a nice surprise to run into you two here. Looks like you have questions. May I be of any help? Well, long story short... I see. Well, the harbor breeze is as peaceful and pleasant as ever. I don't believe that the card snatcher you're looking for has been through here. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure if that's good news or bad in your eyes. Oh, by the way, it seems there's a competition being held nearby. I stopped to have a look. This genius invocation TCG. It seems to be immensely popular at the moment. No, I haven't. I have quietly observed from the side. The captain brought a small box aboard recently that contained a variety of beautifully illustrated cards. She enjoys playing with the crew while enjoying a few drinks. A few too many, perhaps. That's called the Casket of Tomes! It's what you use to carry your cards in, and it helps you find players nearby, too! You should give it a try, Kazuha. The rules are pretty easy to pick up, and then you'll have a fun game to play with your friends! Hmm... Forging friendship through card-based combat does sound quite delightful. Alright then. Show me the ropes, if you please. Paimon can teach you! Paimon's watched the Traveler play a ton of times, so even Paimon's a Master Invocator now! After we teach you the rules, we'll also have to get you a casket of tones. But what about this card snatcher you're looking for? Is not dealing with that more urgent at present? Oh! Good point. <laughs> Paimon got so caught up chatting with our old friend that she nearly forgot about our promise to our new friend. Hmm. Now where should we go next? Huh? Hey, look over there! Isn't that the Inazuman courier who Diodo was chatting with back in Mondstadt? What's she doing here? Huh. I just noticed the logo at her waist. Isn't that Komania Express? Huh? Do you know that company, Kazuma? Yes, I've heard of it. 
They provide delivery services in Inazuma. Hmm. Looks like she's having some trouble. Why don't we go and introduce ourselves? Catstail and Mondstadt? Yep! Paimon's name is Paimon, and these two are the Traveler and Kaidahara Kazuha. It's a strange coincidence running into you again. Hello. Hello! My name's Kirara. I'm a courier for Inazuma's Komania Express. I know Komania Express is widely praised for its punctual and safe delivery services, but I wasn't aware that the company had started operating internationally. Wow, it's rare to meet a fellow Inazuman abroad. Our company just recently began expanding its services overseas. Which is great for me, because now I basically get paid to travel all around the world! Only downside is, I sometimes get a bit lost when it's my first time in a new city. Sometimes, when I'm running late, I even have to change back into my original form and climb over walls to make sure the parcel's on time. Uh, do you happen to know the way to the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I feel like I've been going in circles all day. Yeah, we know the place! You will? Oh, thank you so much! on the ground the dice spin around while high in the sky the sun shines bright hmm that last line could use some work here we are this is it oh white's the traveler and paimon what brings you here and i see you've brought some friends Clients, business partners, new associates? <laughs> Maybe leave the introductions to Paimon. This is Kaidahara Kazuha, and this is Kirara. Hello. It is an honor to meet you. Greetings, old friends and new. So, what brings you all to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor this fine day? Wait, don't tell me. Is it our latest promotion? Well, I'm touched that you journeyed all this way. No, no, we were just giving Kirara directions. Hello, ma'am. Are you Director Huta of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I'm your Komania Express Courier, and we have a delivery for you. I just need to ask you for a signature. Let me see. Ah, oh, yes, I've been expecting this. Delivery services these days make everything so much easier. I used to have to send my consultant running to and fro for this kind of thing. Say, Kirara, how flexible is your company in terms of delivering different types of goods? How about a living person? And what about someone who's more in between alive and dead? <laughs> uh? Uh... Her tails are standing up on end! Yes, that's a no. Well, maybe we can talk about potentially expanding your company's services sometime. C could I trouble you to take a moment and leave a five-star review? Five stars? Well, that's an odd number. Let's make it an even six. No, much too low. Services good deserves at least eight. In fact, nine. One extra for going the extra mile. Oh, five stars will be plenty, really. But your enthusiasm means a lot. Alright. 
I should be on my way now. Thanks again for the directions. <laughs> yeah, don't mention it. Cool. Well, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Although, uh, hopefully next time it won't be because I'm lost. I heard you reciting a poem just now, Director Who. May I ask from where you drew your inspiration? Oh, do you share a liking for poetry as well? Once in a while, I throw words at each other and see what sticks. Ah, yeah. There's no need for self-deprecation. I've seen people from all walks of life. And I can tell just from the way your sleeves flutter in the wind that you are a man of culture. Anyway, I'm preparing for the tournament final that will be held shortly. Anyone feeling poetic? I need ideas. Tournament final? Ooh, you mean the Genius Invocation TCG tournament? Yeah, that's the one. My next opponent is no small fry. Most of the time he is so unassuming you couldn't pick him out of a crowd. But during this tournament, it's like he sprang up out of the ground like a whopper flower and took the competition completely by surprise. So I have a strong feeling that this will be a tough battle to win. And shouldn't you be focusing on your strategy? How is writing poetry gonna help? Because skill doesn't thrill, unless you've also got style. What? Let me give you an example you'd be more familiar with. To make a great dish, it takes not just flavor, but presentation, too. Ever heard the saying it takes two flint to light a fire? The same principle applies when you're trying to make an impression. Hmm. That sounds like it makes sense. Or does it? Oh, Paimon can never tell with who tell. Hmm. In duels to the death, some samurai pay each other respects before the fight. Often, the two opponents find they have much in common. See? New guy gets it! What did I say? A man of culture! You flatter me, Director Who. In my humble opinion, you could try incorporating your competitive aspirations into your lines. Or perhaps some words to intimidate your opponent. Oh, we have an expert among us. Hey, why don't you play a match with me? It'll help me warm up and maybe find some creative inspiration. As much as I'd like to oblige, I'm afraid that I haven't played before. Perfect! Paimon really wants to watch you play. How about Paimon gives Kazuo a crash course right now? Since everyone is so willing to offer their help, how can I refuse? a few little tips and tricks she's picked up from watching the Traveler play. Well, think you can handle it from here, Kazuha? I think I've got it. Thank you, Paimon Sensei. S sensei <laughs> Wow! Paimon's never been called that before! Well, Kazuha, ready to go one-on-one -on -one against Liyue's most notorious backstreet poet? Yes. Thank you for the opportunity, Director Who. Any last words before the duel begins? Huh. <sighs> One moment. Okay. I think I've got something. Wow. That was fast. All right. <laughs> Say your piece, Challenger. Whoa. Things are really heating up. Minds like sharp blades clash. Friendship forged through cards and dice. Autumn leaves burn bright. I, Kaedahara Kazuha, humbly accept this duel. <laughs> the birds are chirping, the weather's so nice. Watch me roll six pyro dice. Director Who of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is ready for battle.
My turn. Chi? Ah. I am defeated. It's no wonder that Director Who has earned a spot in the tournament finals. Talk about an exciting match, though! Good thing I was able to send off all those summons of yours. I have to say, it's hard to believe that this was your first time playing. I owe it all to Paimon-sensei's teaching. Huh? You really mean that? Yay! Did you enjoy Genius and Vacation TCG? Yes, indeed. There is a good variety of card abilities, and the tempo of the match can swing in an instant. I understand now why it's become so popular across Tevat. Oh, seems the world's gained yet another TCG player. Kuching! What did you get here? Shortly after these two had begun their match, everyone seemed so focused on the game that I didn't want to interrupt. You must be Kaede Harakazuho. Your reputation precedes you. It's an honor to finally meet you. Please, the honor is all mine. I have heard great things about the esteemed Yuhang from Captain Beidou. Just call me Kuching. You played very well indeed, considering it was your first time. I'm impressed. If we ever have the opportunity, I too would like to play a match with you. Wow! Kazuha's already lined up his next opponent! Why so surprised? Practically everyone at Yujing Terrace is playing Genius Invocation TCG these days. I also play from time to time, when time permits. It would be my pleasure to join you for a match. However, I can't borrow the Traveler's deck forever. Our match might have to wait until after I manage to obtain my own casket of tomes. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. When we get back to the tournament venue, I'll ask a member of the Genius Invocation TCG Society to provide one for you. And please don't think about returning the favor. I assure you, it's no inconvenience. Besides, a friend of the Traveler is a friend of us all. I am grateful for your kindness, Kuching. Pleasure. Also, Hu Tao, the final is about to start. I just came to make sure you're aware. Don't worry. It might look like my mind's on other things, but I'm still listening. Thorough preparation is the key to victory, after all. Will you all be coming with us to the venue? All right. Back to the task at hand. Um, we're investigating a card snatcher. Have any of you seen someone going around collecting genius invocation card backs recently? Card backs? You mean like the kind with the treasure chest design on it? Yes, exactly. That's the one. Funny. The word snatcher didn't come to mind when I saw him. He struck me as more of a potential client. I saw him playing a match against Chong Yun this morning. He said that whoever lost would have to hand over their card back. It was close, but he managed to beat Chong Yun in the end. After the match, he wiped the sweat from his forehead, took the card back from Chong Yun, and left. Sounds like we need to go talk to Chong Yun then. In that case, Try Uang Hill. I think that's where he should be. If I may ask, what else is this alleged card snatcher suspected of doing? Um, we don't know too much about him, apart from his obsession with card backs, but apparently he's stolen other players' cards before. <sighs> I see. I'll inform the Millilith to be on the lookout for this individual. But while he's still at large, make sure you stay safe. I think I'll go with the Traveler to Wong Hill. All right, see you later. With so many people rooting for me, I'm sure the match will be over before I can say, Phew! A 
All right, let's go find Chang Yun. Hey, don't panic. I'm sure we'll find her. Tanyun, we found you! Paimon, traveler, and... Hello, I am Kaidahara Kazuha. Hi, I'm Chong Yun, an exorcist from Liyue. Long story short, this boy lost his friend while they were playing hide-and-seek. <laughs> I told little you not to hide anywhere too far away! But I've looked everywhere, and I still can't find her. Uh-oh. It could be dangerous to get lost out here in the wilderness. Um, we'll help look for her, too. Did you see which direction she went? Yeah. I kind of peeked a little bit when I was counting. She went that way. Okay, then let's start looking in that direction. A snapped branch and some trampled grass. It looks like the girl. <gasps> Not the treasure horse again. Oh, let's hope little you didn't run into them. Here comes the cat. That jingle? Uh, quietly now. Huh. That jingle? Yeah, this way through the little. I see everything! Gotcha! <laughs> Seriously! Why are we always running into these guys? Hey, everyone! Have a look at this! Are those genius invocation cards? Oh! I know that one! It belongs to little you! Her dad gave her a deck, and it's her favorite thing. She takes it with her everywhere. So little you is definitely here. But there's a fork in the road up ahead. Oh, which way should we go? Hmm, wait a moment. Did little you's father also give her a small box to store the cards? Yeah, a casket of tomes. I have one too. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Yes. As long as she still has the box with her, we should be able to determine her location. Quick! Get our casket of tomes out! Mm, let's see. There's Chang Yun and little Fang. Aha! There's another player over there! That must be little you! Little you! Little Fong? <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gone so far away. I was trying to find a hiding place, but then I saw a bunch of really angry looking guys and I got scared. So I ran and ran till I ended up here. <laughs> Don't worry. We've already taken care of the bad guys. But Uwang Hill is full of yin energy. You shouldn't be playing in a place like this. 
Understand? Uh, yes, sir. We won't do it again. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for rescuing me. Of course. Now, don't go running off. Hang tight for a moment, and I'll walk you both home. <sighs> Paimon's glad she was okay. Me too. Good on Kazuha for coming up with the Casket of Tomes idea. Yeah, how did the rest of us not think of that? Huh. Guess we use it so often when we're playing cards that it didn't occur to us to use it for anything else. What a nifty little gadget. The Sumeru scholars who invented it must be super brainy. Oh, uh, by the way, Changyun, we wanted to ask you about something. Oh, I, I knew there was something fishy about his obsession with card packs. I can't believe it. I let a thief slip right through my fingers. Whoa. Deep breaths. Stay calm. It's not your fault. You didn't know what his intentions were. If I'd been in your shoes and he invited me to a duel on the same terms, I doubt I'd have sensed anything untoward either. Exactly. He's crafty. If you're not paying attention, he'll just steal the card he wants. And if that doesn't work, he'll come up with some other way to get his hands on it. Did he happen to say anything after he got the card back? Not a lot. He seemed to be in a hurry. He just packed up his things and then left for the docks. Hmm, but I did hear him grumbling about how far away Inazuma is, and how he wasn't looking forward to the boat journey. This guy sure talks to himself a lot. Hmm. Well, it sounds like a pretty solid lead, so Paimon thinks we should follow it. But first, we should stop by the venue. Then I guess I'll take Little Fong and Little Yu home now. Though I'd really rather help track down that thief. Sure. I'm counting on you. Whoa. Is it just Paimon, or did things suddenly get gloomier here after Changyun left? Huh. Come on, let's get out of here. What an incredible match. Truly mesmerizing to watch two players compete at such a high level. What? We missed the final again? Ugh, Paimon was hoping we'd at least get to catch a glimpse of the final round. <sighs> You're back. Did you find Chongyun? Everything goes smoothly? There were a few hiccups along the way, but in the end, it all turned out fine. Um, so Hu Tao, did you win your match? Of course! It didn't go quite as phew as I'd expected, but all in all, it was still a good ol' wham bam i like to thank my fam! My opponent was no pushover. We both took out a couple of each other's character cards before it came down to the decisive round. I closed my eyes, held my breath, and clenched the dice tightly in my hand as I prayed for the blessings of all my supporters in the audience, both visible and invisible, wink wink. Can you guess what happened next? Channeling all my skill and style, with a flick of the wrist I released the dice from my hands and shouted my battle cry at the top of my lungs. Watch me roll six pyro dice! And lo and behold, when the dice came to rest, I counted...